Hey everyone, Guardian E here with another weekly video for Azure Lane, the global version of Azure Lane. We're on the final week of the Visitors Died in Red event. So we're wrapping up here, trying to cash in on those last Emmas, trying to do that last grinding to get the units that we want uh, and the drops that we're looking for. Uh, as usual, I have a number of build constructions stored up from the, ba uh, the daily quests that we've done throughout the course of the week. And I have nine of them sitting here, so I'm just going to go through these. Again, we already got Shokaku. Uh, Zuikaku would be nice, but I plan on pulling her or grabbing her from the, the Emma exchange shop. Uh, if I don't get her from just farming uh, or from the light construction or, or the uh, construction uh, in general. So, uh, really the target remains to be Belfast and with any luck we can, we can get Belfast before the next event comes around. So let's go through these nine uh, and then we'll tack on another three for the daily quest of today. Um, and then do the rest of the pulls for the week. So let's just see what we have here in these nine. First up we have an Alec. Getting a lot of the Spencer crew. I guess they're common for a reason. Uh, Edinburgh. Okay. Uh, I already have her, but that is a an elite, so that's awesome. Definitely happy to get an elite. It's going to be an Omaha. Got a lot of Omahas from farming the uh, Visitors Died in Red event. Okay, going to get a Hermes. Let's see what's next. Uh, a Crescent. A lot of commons. Definitely getting a lot of commons this go around. Uh, Thatcher. Uh, oh, Terror. Okay, I already have a Terror and an Erebus as well. Okay, uh, last two here. Before I start doing some new construction, it's going to be an Ajax. And last up is... Uh, Long Island. Alright. So kind of a bust there, unfortunately, but let's go ahead and do some more constructions. Alright, <clears throat> so that was unfortunately kind of a bust. Uh, not really a lot of what we were looking for, so that's that's too bad. But we're just going to wrap it up with three more constructions. Uh, I want to stick with the light constructions. I'm trying to save up Wisdom Cubes for the next big event that's going to be hitting which is pretty much all but confirmed to be the Fallen Wings event that's going to be featuring uh, limited exclusive ship Washington, uh, who apparently pairs extremely well with South Dakota. South Dakota is one of my favorite ships, so definitely want to do some pulls on that. We're going to get a Craven. Uh, ooh, a Brooklyn. I can definitely use her for some limit break on my existing Brooklyn. And last up is going to be a Foxhound. Alright. So no SRs this go around. Uh, maybe by the end of the week we'll get one. Uh, since this is the last day, more or less, of the Visitors Died in Red event, I'm going to go ahead and exchange my Emmas for, uh, for stuff. I figure I could just do that right now. So as I understand it, the primary targets here are going to be the, the Pure Oxygen Torpedo, Rainbow item over here. Um, the Repu uh, ship is also very good. The mounted gun is apparently terrible. So uh, apparently it has like a shotgun effect and it's just not very good. So uh, if there is one of these items to skip, it's probably going to be this one. And then of course, Zoikaku. So uh, let's just go ahead and grab Zoikaku right now. May as well. Yay. And there she is ready to join her sister, which is great. Alright, very nice. So we'll lock her up. And, uh... Oh, I didn't even know there was... Oh, I didn't even know this scrolled. <laughs> okay. Alright, so next up we're going to grab the Pure Oxygen Torpedoes. Uh, which is apparently supposed to be very, very strong, so... Grabbing this while I can. And we'll go ahead and take the Repu as well. 
Excellent. So we've got 3,000 Emmas left. I could splurge on tech packs, since I am kind of hoarding these for the time being. Could also go for some of these other items. I I like getting stuff for the dorm, especially if the, if the little chibis can interact with them, but I don't know if any of these are interactable. Uh, I have to think maybe the gazebo is, so... I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the gazebo. Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna get the gazebo. And then I will probably wrap up the rest with tech pack purchases. So we'll just grab eight of these. And there we go. So that is going to be all of my exchange. I might be able to do a little bit more farming today, maybe grab another tech pack uh, before the day is up, maybe two. Who knows, maybe I'll grab a Koi Scroll as well, but um, more or less I got the big ticket items that I was looking for. So overall, not too bad. And I pretty casually farmed it, I have to say. I mostly just did the three times um, bonus each day for all of the different um, you know, little missions, and ended up having enough. Alright, continuing along with our weekly pulls, the Visitors Died in Ren event is officially over, so... No more pulls for any of the Crane Sisters or any of those limited time units. Um, but we are still fishing for a Belfast, potentially. So we're going to finish off these orders for the week uh, and see what we get. Let's go ahead and hit the Finish All button. Fingers crossed. Uh, oh, come on! <laughs> <sighs> All right, well, uh, well, okay, I officially have enough San Diego's to max limit breaker, so that's a good sign, I guess. <laughs> we, we got an SR, I mean, how, how could I complain about getting an SR, right? We got another SR, it just so happens it is San Diego, who is not our target, but that's okay. Next up, it's going to be an Ajax, followed by a Mutsuki, a Bogue, uh, oh hey, okay, a Unicorn, uh, who I think is supposed to be pretty good. I, I know that she's in a lot of good team compositions, I've heard good things about her, uh, and I don't have her, so she's a new ship for me, so that's pretty cool. Go ahead and lock her in. That is neat. All right, we'll open up the last two here. Deploy. It is going to be a Langley. And finally, uh, a Colm. All right, so unfortunately, well, all right. So, so we got our SR, <laughs> not the SR we wanted, unfortunately. But I guess that's just kind of how it goes. Okay, so we're going to wrap up this week with these last three uh, build orders. And hopefully we get something good. This is going to round out the week. Please don't let it just be San Diego. So let's take a look at the first one here. It's going to be uh, Langley. Don't need Langley. This one is a Signet. Last hope. What's it gonna be? Oh, oh, uh, Kisaragi. So that's new. It's a common ship, but, um, but I don't have her, so that's pretty cool. New ships are always a good thing. Okay, so we're just gonna save up the rest of these for, um, the dailies for the week, as well as for the Fallen Wings event that is just around the corner. In just a few days, we're going to be getting the much-awaited Fallen Wings event. Uh, that's going to be featuring the USS Washington uh, that pairs very nicely with South Dakota, who is one of my favorite ships in the game. Uh, so that is very exciting. If you haven't been saving up your cubes, I would suggest doing that now because uh, these are limited ships that are not going to be entering the general pool uh, at least anytime soon. So 
Now that the Visitor's Died in Red event is over, uh, we have the Z-Force has returned, and I don't need any of these ships, so I haven't really been farming it. So it's really been back to the Fox Mines with me. Uh, I've swapped around my farming team, much to the suggestion of uh, some of the comments out there to switch to a zombie Phoenix team. So I've been building up Phoenix um, along with Yorktown. I currently have just Illustrious in the back line because uh, I want to level up my Lusty as well as uh, gain affinity and affection. But uh, at least for the time being, I'm going to be using Phoenix in the front line for the my farming fleet. And as you can see, it's pretty low cost and relatively effective, at least you know at this level. I'll probably need to upgrade their uh, equipment to make sure that they can still withstand the um, the, the fodder fleets, uh, the fodder battles before the boss battle. But thus far, it's been working pretty well. And again, very much on the cheap. So <laughs> as you can see, it's only 16 cost, which is pretty darn good. I could probably do a little bit better, but um, especially fa uh, farming... Uh, the Fox Mines 3-4 you can run some pretty low level fleets along here to clear it but uh, this seems pretty effective so far let me know what you guys are running for the Fox Mines maybe you're done with the Fox Mines um, I got Akagi pretty quickly early on I would say the first couple of days of farming I ended up getting Akagi uh, unfortunately I have yet to get Kaga Yeah, unfortunately I haven't gotten Kaga. I haven't even gotten any dupe Akagis for that matter. Um, so I am hoping that I'll be able to get Akaga pretty soon. I'm going to, now that the Visitor's Died in Red event is over, probably be diving back into this for a daily ritual until the, um, the Fallen Wings hits. And then it'll be farming that. From what I understand, the farming, the Fallen Wings is going to be a pretty difficult uh, event, at least compared to what we've received in the English version of Azure Lane thus far. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty involved. I think the exchange is supposed to be a gotcha of sorts, but a limited gotcha in which you can only get a certain number of certain items, something like that. Um, and the event itself is supposed to be pretty difficult. I think they've actually from what I've read, they've on the Reddit, they've scaled it back for the English server so that it's not that difficult, um, so that we will be able to compete realistically. Because um, I think the level caps are way, way higher uh, on China and Japan as far as this event is concerned. So uh, that'll be a big help, I think, for all of the new players out there that are starting the event. You know, they don't want to alienate those players because the English version is just starting and Fallen Wings is a much anticipated event. So I don't think they, they'd want to. Um, so I don't think they'd want to alienate those users if they can avoid it. All right. So with any luck, we'll wrap up this run and we will get Kaga. Yeah, right. <laughs> the odds are very, very low. 0.75% drop rate for each of the Fox sisters. So definitely not holding my breath here, but you know, how crazy would it be if we ended up getting Kaga here? Is it going to be... Uh, I'm going to guess a Beagle. I'm going to guess that I'm going to be getting a Beagle from this run. No, it's a Nevada. It's okay. could be worse. All right. Um... Let's just check our commissions while we're here. Uh, anything pressing? No, not really. So I guess it's appropriate. I mean, this week wasn't terribly eventful. I did get a unicorn, which is my first unicorn, which is surprisingly appropriate considering that her event is going on, the Stardust event uh, for one of her uh, alternate costumes. And I also got a San Diego, as you all saw. And that's actually... Um, uh, pretty opportune as well because we got the uh, Watashiwa number no. one uh, item that Yostar and Majun decided to give to us as a gift. Uh, by popular demand, here is your superstar on a super stage. Come dance with San Diego now, Watashiwa number no. one. So uh, let's go ahead and collect this uh, while we can. Um, 
All right, so let's go ahead and check this thing out. I haven't actually seen it in action. The, uh, the San Diego stage. Let's go ahead and add it. So it's not furniture. Where is it? Huh. Do I have to like grab it from somewhere or? Oh, okay. It's in the collection. This doesn't fit anywhere. How big is this thing? Um, let's, I guess let's just move this over to the side here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> let's, uh, let's move this down here. All right. Holy crap. That is enormous. Are you serious? <laughs> that is so huge. It takes up like 60% of my entire dorm. All right, so moment of truth. Let's go ahead and grab Otago here. <sighs> oh my dear God. I'm not gonna lie, I really kind of love it. I really do. Oh man. I can't be mad at that. All right, <laughs> well, I can't think of a more appropriate ending. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys ended up getting on your weekly builds. I hope that you got all of the event SRs or regular SRs that you are looking for for your collection. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the video and watching the progress of my fleets as well as watching what we had managed to pull this week. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Azure Lane content. We thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate every single one of you. And until next time, let's protect those waters. Let's protect that stage. <laughs>